5.30, a mother unleashes in court. He's in the grave dead. I got to talk to a, a plot just to say I love you. Just to say I love you. Her anger directed at the women who pled guilty in her son's death at a daycare. Five years ago, a little boy was left inside a sweltering SUV in Tamarack by daycare workers. Today, prosecutors say those three were given a gift when they took plea deals. CBS 4's Ted Scouten has the story from the Broward County Courthouse. Am I going to hear him say, Mommy? Am I going to hear him say, I love you? Am I going to get a kiss goodbye? No, not at all. Fantasia Goldson lets the court know that she's not happy that the three women who entered pleas in the death of her four-year-old son are getting off easy. He's in the grave dead. I got to talk to a, a plot just to say I love you. And they get to live their life? They get to live their life. Standing just feet away from her, Camille Gordon is sentenced to 15 years probation. So is Paris Ward. She sobbed as the judge imposed sentence. Paris and Camille left four-year-old Jordan Coleman in a closed-up SUV in Tamarack five years ago while working for a daycare. They forgot him in there. His temperature soared to 108 degrees, killing him. I'm going to adjudicate the defendant guilty. Cecily Roberts owns the Three Seas Daycare in Sunrise. She was sentenced to five years minus time served. Investigators say she ordered her daughter Camille and volunteer Paris to take a van full of kids to an apartment because she was worried about getting in trouble for having an overcrowded daycare. And y'all took that from me in 2.5 because y'all was doing dumb stuff, hiding from whatever y'all was doing because y'all was, was really trying to be greedy for money. Greedy. With this case over, no one is celebrating, just remembering a little boy who is gone. We're leaving to go to his grave now to say hi. No parent, no aunt, no grandmother, no, nobody who has a kid wants to go to a grave to leave flowers. Nobody. Roberts will begin her five years in prison after completing a federal sentence, which she's completing right now on a different case. As for the two who are on probation, during that time, they're barred from working with children. In Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.